Mr. Weinstein, you, you've testified that one reason we shouldn't worry about Americans being spied on is result of surveillance without a warrant that is directed to persons overseas under the uh, PAA is, is, is minimalization procedures to handle the acquisition, dissemination, and retention of incidentally collected U.S. person information. Is, is that true? Yeah, that's, I think that's a very important part of the protections, both under the PAA and under um, other, other collections as well. So people don't, shouldn't have to worry because it's been, if they're, they're spied on incidentally, because you'll minimize what's done with the information. Is that right? Well, I guess the way I'd frame it is that minimization procedures were adopted. You know, they go back before 1978, but in the context of general signal intelligence overseas, uh, they were adopted, they're applied rigorously, they're trained on in the intelligence communities so that if you're legitimately targeting somebody overseas, that person calls somebody in the United States, there's U.S. person information gleaned from that, that that U.S. person information is handled carefully so that, you know, the U.S. person's name and identifying information is stripped out unless that information is necessary to understand the foreign intelligence inf uh, value of that information. So it protects U.S. person information from being sort of disseminated and used um, uh, in an appropriate way. So I think it is a very important protection. And it's one that has existed for a long time and the PAA does not change it. And you can assure us that these names, are, if they're picked up, aren't ever released in any way. Well, I think um, the minimization procedures, some are classified, some are not classified. Uh, but essentially what they do is, the, and, and it's, this is laid out um, in unclassified form, that we can provide copies to you, the ones that are unclassified, but it says if you get this information, that it has to be uh, retained in a certain way. It can only be disseminated under certain conditions. You can only disseminate the U.S. person identifying information if there's, if you need that information for the, the, the consumer of the intelligence to understand the foreign intelligence value of that information. So it's very, it's a very sort of careful, sort of sequenced handling of that information so that, yeah, there are situations where the name Ken Weinstein might come up in a surveillance and that name will end up in a report, intelligence report, uh, because it's important that Ken Weinstein's name um, be included in that report to make sense of it. Well, Mr. Weinstein, let me ask you this. Newsweek, and I, you're probably familiar with this, in 2006, reported in that in a two-year period, uh, the NSA supplied the names of some 10,000 American citizens to interested officials and other agencies that the NSA had obtained, uh, minimized information and they kept it in their files. Are you familiar with that? I'm not familiar with that specific report. I'm sorry, sir. Um, do, I think, do we have a copy? Can we put that, a copy of that Newsweek report in the, in the record, Mr. Mr. Chairman? Without objection, so ordered. Thank you. Uh, the actual, the, the issue is that if, if you get the information, uh, we've got to rely, these, there's no warrants involved here. That's right. Well, there are minimization procedures that do apply to, to FISA orders, yeah. Um, so, But there's yeah. there no warrant if, you're tar if your target is foreign. There's, right. There's no warrant in that context. Not now. Mr. McConnell, let me ask you this. The police, as you well know, are you an attorney? I am not, no. Don't need to be an attorney to know this. American citizen. Yesterday was Constitution Day, <laughs> so we all need to remember the, right. the Constitution, the Fourth Amendment, and all those things. The police can't come into your house without a warrant look around, copy files, take things, whatever, and claim there was no violation of your rights is because they, they threw everything away or they restricted its use on their own uh, initiative after they looked into your home and without a warrant violated the Constitution and went back to the station. Wouldn't you agree that minimalization can't cure the damage done to privacy when the communications are intercepted in the first so I'd place? I just refer back to, the, to the, how I opened up my statement at the beginning, the fault of 9-11 there's, we had someone in this country calling a terrorist that we didn't collect the information on, terrorist overseas. So the issue is protecting the country.